Hello and welcome to Miles on Cars. I'm Miles and in this video we're going to be fixing the flexi pipe exhaust section of the Sport K. The reason I'm doing this is because it failed its MOT the other day on three things, the tyres, the exhaust and the rear brakes. So if you'd be interested in following along with this project then please stick around and hopefully you enjoy this video. So first off, you want to jack up the car and then put an axle stand underneath in a safe place. Then you want to crawl under the car and spray WD-40 on all of the joints around the flexi pipe. Then you want to remove the four rubber exhaust hangers. Putting WD-40 on them beforehand makes them much easier to remove. Ow. Then you hurt yourself like that. This one's got WD-40 on and look how easily that one comes off. Okay. Then after that, get a 13mm socket and undo the two nuts on the U-bolt for the exhaust clamp at the front. There is another one of these just in front of the rear wheels, you want to take that one off as well. Well actually, you don't have to undo this clamp at all, as it turned out. But just because I like to make my life difficult, I decided to break the oh. bolt on the clamp, rendering it completely useless. So after realising that was futile, get yourself a 17mm spanner and bust those two nuts next to the flexi pipe flange. Hopefully the WD-40 should have soaked in by then. So once you've removed those two nuts, you get the rear half of the exhaust section and just set it aside. That will give you a little bit more access to the flexi pipe, so it's a bit easier to remove it. So this next step, I'm just hitting the flexi pipe off with a hammer and a screwdriver. Eventually you'll realise that actually you can just do it properly with an angle grinder and just cut it off. So do that first. And look how easily it comes off now. Oh wow, that isn't good. Unless that side's bigger. Good, that's good, that is good. And that goes in there, yeah? No. Great. Excellent. So that is the original that goes on like that. Okay, and on that side it goes over like a sleeve. Right, the downpipe goes into this and stops. The furthest it can go in is there. Okay, which is there on that, which means it's slightly shorter. But this section of flexi pipe is longer and goes past the flange. So what I need to do is cut the flange off where it gets smaller, where that will fit on like that. And just make sure when you cut it, you cut it as close to where it widens out as possible. That way you get as much engagement of the pieces. <laughs> Apply the cement before you put the uh, flexi pipe on and once it's all on, wipe off the excess. 
So the repair kit that I purchased on eBay came with a couple of exhaust clamp U-bolt things. Uh, it's worth putting some copper grease on this just to help prevent it seizing up in the future. Make sure that the copper grease is completely covering all of the threads. So that's all there is to it. It's worth having a look underneath with the engine running just to see if there are any exhaust leaks. I did have one so I had to loosen the U-bolts and slide it across and tighten it back up. That seemed to fix it. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hoped you enjoyed it. And if you had an exhaust leak with your Sport KA, I really hope this video has helped you fix that problem. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe as it will really help this channel to grow and I'll be able to make more content in the future. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.